Good morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing. Just got back from the nursery and I am super excited. Um, this started out as a thing where there are a handful of spaces in the garden that don't have anything in them right now. We just pulled out the peas, the radishes are done, the spinach is blown. So what I was gonna do was to see if I could find maybe some established plants to go into those spaces and then, you know, we've already got a, a rogue tomato growing where the radishes were. So I was thinking, you know, if I could find some plants that were already established, we could put some more food in there. So there are lots of herbs. Um, there were lots of trees and there were lots of shade loving plants, but there were not a whole lot of food plants. That said, I picked up blueberry plants for a song and I picked up strawberry plants for like $10 for 18 plants. And I, I couldn't be more excited. I thought at first maybe they were gonna be late bearing plants, but they are June bearing, which means I have a whole year to get them ready to go. The plan for today is to get this stuff unloaded and then head out to the farm store and see if we can get something to do a raised bed with for these strawberries. And uh, ah, so let me show you what we got. Let's unload the car. I am so excited about this and I totally spent too much money, but we had such a good time. If you are ever in this area and you have a chance to go down to Bemis Nursery, Go to Bemis Nursery. They have beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, ready? So this happened. <laughs> we have a space in back that we want to fill in that's a trellis. So we got some morning glories and we also got some ivy to go in there. And strawberries. I'm finally going to establish a strawberry plot. Oh. Couple, a couple of strawberries. 18 plants. I've got 18 plants for a song, y'all. 18 plants. Yeah. Do they have a smell? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, they do. I didn't know that. All right, got some pollinators to go into the garden. Uh, look at these echinaceas. Holy cow. Look at this vibrant red. Blueberry Sunday. We have a corner for that one in the front yard. Bee balm. This is, this is bee balm. I have tried to grow bee balm back there two or three times this season and something has done it a monch. So we're gonna put it in a different spot and see what we can do. These are, you know my sweet potato problem, right? So I got a couple more sweet potatoes to go in. I'm gonna tuck these in with the other ones in the Ruth Stout plot. Um, because there is that spot where the strawberries all died off, we've got room for more sweet potatoes. These oxalis. So my brother got married last year during COVID they're going to redo the ceremony not this september but next september in the backyard under the big shady maple um so i'm looking for things that will thrive there i'm going to try out some oxalis and see how it does in the shade we're going to put this in pots to go under the tree so that we can bring it in over the winter and then bring it back out in the spring but i want to get them under the tree and see how they do with the light back there but wait there's more and then I got this orange cone flower to go with the red cone flower. Oh, what have we got here? This, I had never seen this before. It's called a butterfly bush. And can you see these gorgeous flowers? These are just gorgeous and they're fragrant. They smell so good. We have a spot in the front yard to put these in. And blueberries. We're gonna put blueberries in on the driveway side of the greenhouse. I figure it won't shade it out because it'll only get as tall as the tables probably. 
and um, so we picked four different blueberry bushes, two that are large and established, and I think we've got three varieties between them all. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll put those in too. Oh, we got a lilac bush. I have always wanted a lilac bush. I have no idea where we're gonna put these yet, but we'll find someplace great for them. But wait. There's more. This is also gonna go in the shady place on the trellis back there. Another six pack of strawberries. Do you know what? I picked out two and he just handed me a third. What a nice man. And then flowers, of course flowers. Let's see, what do we got? Got Lily of the Valley. I'm going all in on that shade garden in the back. We've got the ivy, we've got the um, morning glory, and we're gonna pop these folks in. I've also got some coleus in back there. I wanna make this business bloom. I wanna make it bloom. Got these gorgeous daylilies. Can you see this one? These beautiful daylilies. I don't know where we're gonna plant these yet. This is a theme, if you haven't guessed. We have the plants, where shall we put them? <laughs> Phil and I will spend some time this afternoon walking the grounds, as we like to call it, and uh, pick some good spots for those. Last but not least, y'all, I bought another fig tree. Um, <laughs> this is kind of a running theme with me. I keep buying fig trees and putting them in the wrong places. So I'm gonna try and find the right place <laughs> for this fig tree. I would love to have figs. Oh my goodness. So let's give it another shot. So I am out by the Ruth Stout patch and we need to have some very real talk. I just dug up all the strawberry plants that I could find. I planted like 32 of them and what's left that I could find We're six. <laughs> I do not love this Ruth Stout patch for strawberries. I just, I don't love it. Um, and also you can see it got really, really weedy. So that just made it super difficult. Um, anyway, Bill and I were talking and I said to him, you know, we could just get a kiddie pool and he, <laughs> <laughs> he does not like the kiddie pool idea. So we bought a feed trough uh, from the farm store and we're gonna put in a raised bed in the Ruth Stout plot where the strawberries were. This will do two things. One, it'll give our strawberries a new home and two, I don't have to weed that section. I'm so into that. <laughs> so we'll have 18 plus the six um, that came out of the ground. So. Uh, 24 plants and Bill is over there right now he's getting the the tub filled we're putting some sticks and stuff in the bottom because I only have the one bag of topsoil so we're gonna add some regular soil from a spot where we're trying to take down a mound um, and that'll be the middle and then on top we'll put the potting soil Filling the bottom of the tub because I don't think we need to fill the whole thing with dirt and we want to have some form of drainage going out so we're filling the bottom third with skids from the pallets we use to make the greenhouse deck and yard waste these are all branches and sticks that we've trimmed off or that fell off in storms so we're using that to kind of bulk up the bottom and the advantage of that is over the years this will decompose and break down and help the soil. We've got the watering trough which is now going to be the strawberry pot and we've filled part of the bottom with branches and sticks to help 
add some volume and we've also added a bunch of rocks around where the drain plug is for it so that we have consistent drainage. So now that that's all in, we're going to fill it with dirt and then put four or five inches of our own compost on top to help everything have a good head start in growing. We're all set up, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get in there and put those strawberries in about eight inches from each other. This is very much a want shade later, plant trees now kind of episode. And uh, I'm proud of myself for remembering to plant. Um, these are gonna be next year's strawberries. And I am so okay with that because they are established plants and we've got a good spot for them. So. I'm, I'm really looking forward to next spring's strawberries and um, that's going to be fun to think about in the winter time. And then I ran out of room and I still have plants left over. So Bill is down in the basement. He's cutting apart one of these 50 gallon thing, drum type things that we have a few of. Um, he's cutting one down for me and putting some drainage holes in it. We're gonna fill that one in and set it at the foot of this one. So the Google machine says that that is indeed a red squirrel. This is the first red squirrel we have seen in this yard. Fantastic. Really, right there? Yeah. It's in. <laughs> it's my first lilac bush. I have always wanted a lilac bush and you got me a lilac bush. I did. Thank I you did. for the lilac bush. Happy lilac bush. bush. Yay. Yeah, that was wasted space. We had some uh, barrels and fencing just stacked there and we've been struggling since we moved in to figure out what would work there. <laughs> and I think the lilac bush is the perfect, perfect thing to put in. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think the lilac bush is the perfect thing to put in. So we cleared everything out and raked it and put it in. And in a week or two, I will mulch around it. Yay. All right, ready to get blueberries in? Yeah. All right.
next thing do you believe like I believe I believe I'm getting smaller and as the universe expands it demands so much I don't understand what's wanting from me that my hands are so empty How you feeling? Tired. This man has dug a lot of holes today. <laughs> many, many, many holes. Oh, so many holes. And so oh. much dirt. You've moved a lot of dirt. He has moved a lot of dirt today. Thank you. You're welcome. But the so, plants look good. It does. Oh, I'll, I'll get you a shot of the corner before we go. That came out great, the yeah. front corner. And let's see what else. We put in a lilac bush, four blueberries, strawberries, a whole raised bed, and a half of strawberries, a fig, a fig, tiny fig, little fig. Um, I put the in flowers. Oh, and the daylilies the back day -lilies. behind us. And I put in. Echinacea, I put red and orange echinacea in, and a handful of peppers that I did get. <laughs> but I bought them at the farm store like a week ago, and I finally got them in the ground. I wound up putting those where the radishes were before, and uh, they'll do well in there. <laughs> we'll save the middle bed where the spinach was to put the carrots in there. What else, what else have we done? I feel like we've been at this a while. A lot of raking, a lot of weed whacking, dug down part of the dirt mound in our back. That's right, that's right. By the by, the berries, there was a little secondary hump and you pulled that down. You knocked a bit of that down. Yep. About 150 gallons worth. <laughs> it's a lot. But it's coming out, I, th I think we're getting where we wanna be, huh? We're getting there, we're getting there. But right now I'm sitting here watching the thunderstorms rolling in. Yeah, that is on the way. Let's get you over so you can see that corner. And uh, till next time, thanks for hanging out with us and our uh, landscaping journey. <laughs> Thank you for landscaping with us today. <laughs> we'll catch you up soon. Bye.